Hi everybody and welcome back. Now I'm sitting in Clarabelle and I should be out painting. Now I wanted and had every intention of getting out and doing a lovely day's plein air, doing a couple of paintings, filming those for you and presenting at least one of them to you in due course. Now I have just got Clarabelle back from the electricians where she's undergone an awful trans well a, a big transformation and a very expensive transformation she's had a uh, solar on top 160 watt solar added she's got uh, or will have lithium ions at the moment she's got a, an agm battery running we're just waiting for the lithium ion to come into stock and there are numerous other upgrades including usb usb c's power inverters all that sort of thing so she is really ready for off-grid work and today I had planned to go out because yesterday I really planned to sort out all the different spaces that I could accommodate all my art stuff without too much of a problem and clothes and cooking and food and all these different things. So it's been a lot of fun, but I wanted to do that yesterday and it was a tremendously bad day yesterday. Just no way it could be done. So I had to get up early and start that process today and I have made great headway and I'm really really pleased with the way that I've managed to stow everything that I could possibly need away and I've got a lot of empty boxes that are compartmentalized in different areas of the van that will add clothes and food and other things when I come to go away properly so I thought that it would be nice just to get out today uh, with all that done and just disappear somewhere and just spend the evening painting something filming that process probably a watercolor i don't know maybe an oil probably an oil and um bring that to you at some point but i also wanted to test a few of the things on the van like uh, the cooking i want i've got my ridge monkey i've never used it before uh, i've got that that's sitting in a case ready to be used and i just want to do myself a couple of toasties and see how that goes for the first time and um see if the lights all work and everything else works before i decide to come home uh, after dark now i'm not going to sleep in clarabelle this time i'm not quite there yet i need to buy a few things such as a um, memory type foam mattress or topper just to go on top of the rock and roll bed and i've got to get a decent duvet and things like that so i'm not really ready to go sleeping in here yet plus it's a little bit cold still a bit of a wuss <laughs> but I'm going to get ready for that and we're going to have a lot of fun and so I'm just going to poodle on up the road somewhere local because I don't want to go too far because we are losing light and it's gone five and it will be dark by seven seven fifteen so I don't have an awful lot of time but I do want to find somewhere share that experience with you guys and yeah see what happens so let's see and let's go catch you all soon. Hi everybody and welcome back. Well, i got to say, I have been poodling around the roads for well over an hour, wasting my time. Everywhere I stopped, there was a problem. Places I wanted to stop, I couldn't because of uh, we had some heavy rain uh, last night and I just it just prevented it. I almost gave up and found this place. I've been here before. It's uh, by the light railway at Bottles Bridge. And in the distance, just above the painting board, you can see the Bottles Bridge pub and i just decided well what the heck i'm out i may as well stop and paint something so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to do an oil for you you can see the painting rig is set up you're going to get a few cars come by i'm sure it's just off the main road but uh, hopefully it won't be too much of a distraction and hopefully there's enough time before the sun descends uh, to put a little painting together for you okay catch you all soon okay so what i'm going to be doing is probably just plotting the foreground with a bit of dark now it's black and it's umber and I'm just trying to cover some area very very quickly and I'm probably going to wipe back areas that I would like to keep lighter later on that's why I've got a white ground so I'm just coming in with some of the sort of areas of uh, trees and tree forms here now I'm bringing some of the information a lot closer than it actually is I'm just sort of coming straight in 
on the um, sense, oh, that's way too wet. <laughs> okay, let's take that back. All right, so, yes, what I was saying was I want to bring some of this sort of very, very close to me, like that, and give myself a, a sort of really nice composition with that piece of ground coming into the field through there. That's probably too high, if I'm honest with you. I'm going to come through here with the hills and the downs and we've got that lovely sweeping one through here that goes on and up to Lim Hill. Let's just bring that in. This then comes down like the little valley and goes off over there. So that's pretty much the hill shape. So these trees I've got a little bit too big. So we're going to wipe some of that back. Okay. So let's come back in again. Let's just check this. Got a little bit too far ahead of myself. <laughs> Easy done. But I just wanted something fairly quick, fairly energetic and exciting as a result. So that's going to be the, the river or the road and the river. There's a river bank through here. And then that comes all the way down to about there. Then we've got the pub, which I'm just going to sort of put in very, very quickly. There's our pub. There's the Bottles Bridge pub over there. Off to one side. That's quite nice. Coming all the way down through here. Now, I would like to have brought in a little lower on the fields. I think there's my halfway mark, so I'm good for that. So I'm going to bring that through there. Nice little light piece of tree over this side. A bit more fluid to the brush. I'm using some ivory black and the umber just to really darken off some of these areas like that. All right, so let's work fast. So let's come in with some white and some blue, a little bit of that turquoise. Now I'm using uh, some Gamsol to mix down and lubricate the paint. I could be using liquid and probably should have done, but I didn't get it out, so that wasn't to be. I'm bringing in a little bit more of that lovely cobalt turquoise. I love that color. All right, let's just bring that in. Let's start getting some lovely clouds working in a moment on the surface. So we've got our sky in, and it is quite a loud sky, but what we've got now, I'm gonna use some orange into our white. Now the white has been around a little while, so there's that orange part of it. That's going to be a little too pink. Let's play around with this a little bit, just to make sure that we get the tone that we're looking for. Just check that. Um, yeah, okay, it's not so bad. It gives me the chance to bring up some of the whites on these clouds further on. There's lots of little puffy white clouds that are working through the sky here. 
and they're catching that lovely evening sun as it's setting way over there. I'm just going to bring those in and then they just come down to almost nothing. And that blue has got to change pretty quickly. And I put in some yellow. It's going to make a big green, but let's bring some of that in. Let's take that away a bit, a little bit more turquoise. The paint is very, very stiff. Some of it's been on here for a little while, has to be said. Let's take that out. Yeah, I quite like that. That's good. Let's bring that through here, taking it all the way down to our trees. A little bit of pink got in there. I'm not too worried about that because what we can do is we can cut in like this. We can bring our trees into our hills by cutting into that space. Down through here, equally so into part of that valley that comes down there. Okay, so that's fine. You can refine any of these marks later on. What I need to do is get this information down pretty fast. So that's what it's that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm working on. Let's come in there with a little more of the yellow. Tap of that orange. I'm trying to excite the white with a bit of yellow and it's not working as I'd like. I need to make some darks around some of those to bring up the yellows a little bit more. Quite like that, I do. Bring that down, let some of that just kiss the hills in the background there. Just changing some of those beautiful blues to oranges, just warming up. And this is a danger when you're painting plein air, especially this time of night, because uh, all too easy you see the light change quite dramatically, as I'm doing here. And because of that, you tend to start changing what you do. You start chasing the light, and that is quite fatal. So try and not do that. But I haven't got too much time. As I said, I pulled up here very, very late. And, um, yeah, didn't give myself much of a breathing space. I'm going to leave that there. What I'm going to do now is come in. I've got a nice, brand new, look at that, lovely ivory dagger. And I'm going to come in now with some of this blue. But I'm going to put some King's Blue Deep to that, a little bit of red, and just make a bit of a dirty purple. That's too purple. I'm going to tap in a little orange, uh, yellow, sorry, it's complementary to that. Just want to bring in a little bit of shadow to some of these clouds, give them a bit more body as they pass through the scene. Tap of yellow into that, just to take that violet down just to dirty up the grain. I'm turning the brush over. I'm just going to put in a little tap and reverse that idea and just bring in some little shadows to some of these clouds. Bringing in a very exciting green that's very loud and electric. I'm going to bring a bit of orange to that just to take it back a little bit. Try that in there. Put a bit more yellow in, maybe a tad more orange in that's gone too far. A little bit of yellow back into that. We're getting there. Okay, I want quite a lively green because it's catching all that lovely evening light through there.
Now we're going to bring in a bit more blue because I am starting to chase the light. I know I was going to. Just want to bring in that sort of change in the trees. Much, much cooler. Let's bring in some of that lovely king's blue light. I am altering a little bit of what I was intending to do. Just want that lovely cool light on our tree line like that. Top of the hill, bit of grasses on some of it and wooded everywhere else. I'll try and bring some of that down here too just to suggest that little bit of evening light catching the side of those trees. Just tapping in one or two other bits of information and again I'm going to tin continue that on into here taking out a lot of this dark that I started putting in. It's still very, very dark compared to the sky, but it's somewhat cooler than everything that's happening in the foreground. Just to make it dark because it looks dark is not all the answer, and that's what I was doing here, which was quite wrong. So I'm gonna bring in a little bit more light through here. come in with um, what I want to do is actually bring in some more of this light it is getting exceedingly cold now um, so I may have to call it a day soon and just finish this from memory or not at all sometimes you don't need to a colour study like this doesn't have to be a complete finished work of art I mean, it is simply time well spent understanding and learning what you're doing, what colours you've got and chosen. Do they work? Do they not work? Sort of thing. Bring a little bit of light through the back end there, just to run along that bank and then take some off to the back of the field. We're going to bring a bit of extra something into these, catching the last rays. And quite literally, that sun is almost gone. In another five minutes, I'll be done. In terms of light, anyway. Beautiful sunset, got to say. I'm going to take a quick picture of it for you. Now then, these trees here, they're very, very dark. A little bit of green, a little bit of turquoise into that. There we go. Just going to put a little bit of sort of very cool green accent to these trees. A little bit of shape. Now there is no actual sort of sky holes as such. Normally I'd like to put in a few extra bits, but these are very, very dark 
conifer style trees and they're very very dense so I'm not going to attempt to put anything else other than the shape basically blue deep blue color and it does need to be in some of these bushes as it goes towards the pub now I need to bring some of that down that's a little too close there so I'll bring some of that out a bit more of that orange back in getting quite messy now there we go just wanted to drop the height on those bushes through the back there and into there I quite like that okay I didn't think this painting was going to work out to be fair there was a little time then I was really unsure of what was going to happen now I am sort of happy with it but what I'm actually doing is inventing light now it's gone and I'm working off of my memory banks my little bit of um, photographic memory that you develop as a painter just to get me through this last part as it were tapping in a little bit of light into some of these trees here and then I'm going to come back in with some of that colour there that's gone a little bit too light let's come back in a bit more teal just to take that back down a little bit there we are cut around some of those shapes a little bit more teal bring in a little bit more greenish colour as we go up the hillside there a little bit of dark a little bit of teal just making its presence felt in the background cutting it around some of these tree forms There we are. All right, so I think with that, I'm gonna call it a day <laughs> because it has got very, very cold. My hands are red and uh, icy and uh, hopefully you'll forgive me for ending the video at this point. It's got quite dark now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack up, pack up the painting, pack up the easel and the camera, etc., and I'm gonna go into the van now I'm not going to be sleeping in the van tonight, I think I've already said that part of this video because um, I'm not ready for that. But what I want to do is cook my evening meal, such as it will be, and settle down for an hour, eat that, enjoy that, and maybe have another bit of a chat with you guys. And uh, yeah, then I'll poodle on home. Hi everybody, well, <laughs> that got very, very cold out there just now. Uh, as I was ending that painting, I'm so glad to have got put away and everything stowed as it should be without making a mess. And the painting is safe. Now, <laughs> this is the first time since I've had Clarabelle that I've spent an evening inside her. I've only just got the uh, electrics done, so we have got some lighting and it's really quite nice, got to say, and it's quite comfortable. Uh, well, I'd hoped for that. And yes, I'm not being disappointed with that. So I decided that uh, in addition to doing a little painting today and sharing that with you is to actually, I'm just going to sit here, cook myself something to eat uh, for the very, very first time. And I'm also using a ridge monkey. And the idea being that I can uh, just test a few things out, test the cooking ability for me and uh, to see if it's edible and all of these things are just ironing out all the i's and t's uh, the van is nowhere near ready to take a big trip anywhere uh, she's only going to be doing little day trips and when her body work is done and the everything else is done then i'll start thinking of doing some uh, overnights two or three days things like that just going away and doing some painting but this is all in the planning stage and I have no idea if this video is even watchable much less anything else so um, there are a lot of people that do uh, van life out there that are far better at it than I am or probably ever will be and I'm just uh, journaling really my day and part of it is in the van and that's how it will be 
Uh, I haven't got any fancy camera tricks uh, up my sleeve. Maybe in time, with a bit more practice, or a lot more practice, I might have one or two of them, but I haven't got that many, so it's quite crude as a film, and hopefully you'll stick with it. But I'm going to set up now, I'm going to cook something, and um, eat that, enjoy that, and while I'm eating that, I don't know, we'll have a chat, and then I'm going to head off home, and... Uh, warm up. <laughs> Catch you all in a minute. scratch off as much of that as I can. I don't think I can that's a lovely toast that it really worked well with the bat. Overdone. Well I couldn't salvage that so I've got an open sandwich. I've got half a sandwich, the rest of it's okay. Let's try this little delicious <laughs> non-entity, non-starter. Oh, it's a goopy mess. It tastes good though. That's good. <laughs> Part success. I'm going to enjoy this one. Got it this time. What a lovely tasty. Ah. Look at that. Perfect. I'm going to enjoy this and a nice hot cup of coffee and then we'll call it a day. <laughs> 